Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you what I have in my makeup collection. I don't have a huge collection of makeup, but I do have some bits, so I'm going to show you. Today I'm going to show you primers and base products. So foundations and concealers and stuff. This drawer clearly needs some cleaning, which I'm going to do after I film this. So my number one primer of all time is... This one, it's by Urban Decay. It's called the Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Potion in the shade Original. They have other colors, but the original one is my favorite. This is what it looks like. And what I like this for is I have oily skin, so my eyelids get oily, and then my eyeshadow starts to smudge and to move. And this is my number one guy to make sure that that doesn't happen um we don't have urban decay in the country anymore but you can buy it online really love this one next we have the p louise base and this one is in ruma 4. this is an international brand but i was able to get it from zando it's darker than the other one and it really helps to make your eyeshadow pop and look nice and bright and vibrant so i really love it for that this one is a bit too light for my skin tone so i would love to get my hands on a darker shade but i'm gonna finish this one before i try to get that one next we have mac pro longwear paint pots in the shade painterly they have a few shades of this as well i've had it for a while and i haven't used it much i actually bought it to use it on my smile lines um i saw from another youtuber that it really helps with that but i have not really i haven't used it much the first time i tried it, it didn't really work that great for me um but i don't think i did it properly so i'm still gonna Try and figure that out and see if it's worth the hype. Um, I also don't favor it for eyeshadow. It works fine, but it doesn't work as it doesn't work as good as this one. So if you're trying to decide if you should buy a Mac Pro Longwear Paint Pot or a P. Louise base, I would suggest that you get the P. Louise. And the last eyeshadow primer I have is this one from NYX. And this is a glitter primer. Let's just swatch it. It's a little bit darker than Urban Decay. Yeah, this is great if you are using pressed pigments or anything that has a lot of glitter in it. And you want to make sure that it sticks and lasts on your eye. I don't think I swatched this one, so let me do that quickly. So this one is the MAC Paint Pot. Yeah, actually, maybe I should do a video on time um, having the P. Louise and the Paint Pot on different eyes and compare them. I think I know which one will win, but I think that will be interesting. Okay, so let's move on to the face primers. I have this MAC strobe cream. This is the travel size. I've had it for a while. It's almost finished actually. You won't be able to see on camera, but this actually has like a pink glow to it. Um, yeah, you can't really see it on camera. But yeah, they have a few shades of this one, but this one is in the pink light shade. And it's supposed to hydrate your face and give it a glow that will show through the foundation. It's a little bit too thick for my liking, but I'm going to use it up, but I'm not sure if I would buy it again. I have this primer. I also included this in my project pan video. So this one is very thick. You're actually supposed to tap it into the skin 
and not really swipe it the way that I am but that's what it looks like and it's meant to minimize your pores but I don't favor it it's too thick for me and it's not moisturizing enough also it's a mattifying primer which those are not my favorite but I have it and I will definitely finish it and then my number one primer is the vitamin enriched face base love this one my sister bought this for me last year for my birthday and that's how much I've used and I love this it's very hydrating and smells really nice and my makeup really sits well on top of it I love this one okay this is a corrector from Scarlet Hill I've had it for many months but I actually haven't used it yet I'm a bit scared too but I will use it soon and I'll use it in a video um, yeah it's like a peach orange color it's supposed to cancel the darkness from your skin like your under eyes or if you have dark spots and anything like that and then your foundation is able to go on top of it and give you a much more full coverage look okay foundation time this is also in my project pen video i've used it quite a bit since i filmed that video so it's actually almost finished um let's swatch it here oops don't want to waste but I do want to show you it's nice brown over there oh beautiful this is the LA girl pro conceal HD concealer in shade chestnut this is very affordable from discam I have my foundation here this is the NARS natural radiant long wear foundation in shade shade Macau also gonna swatch that over there that's what that looks like so i've complained about the color of this i think you'll be able to tell actually it's very like green and almost like mustard i don't know if you can tell the difference between the two of them this one has a similar problem but it's much more brown and it suits my skin better than the nars because of that undertone in it but i found a way to make that work it's the routine that i did on my birthday video i didn't go in depth but i will in a separate video i'm actually not sure which one i would choose as my number one between these two but without the new application method um, just rating the color on its own i would say this one is better and more suited to my skin but otherwise i'm not sure which one i like the most next i have these foundations also in my project pen these are the mac face and body foundation and they're also a gift for my sister i have shade c5 and shade um, n9 let me show you what they look like so that's what the lighter one looks like obviously too light for my skin and this is what the dark one looks like which is too dark for my skin and also too red so i mix them to get a color that suits me more i don't want to talk about them too much because i'm going to talk about them more in makeup tutorials and stuff so yeah but i like them i really like them they're super like liquidy lastly i have this from black opal this is the skin perfecting stick foundation in shade suede mocha i use it as a cream uh, what do you call it cream bronzer slash contour and the coverage and finish of this is beautiful i think i could even do well with one shade darker than this one but this one works too i'm able to make it work and i love it i love it highly recommend you don't have to just use this as a 
bronzer contour you can also buy a shade that matches your skin and you can use it as your foundation very very nice so i'm gonna leave it here for this video thank you for watching see you next time